Good morning. Uh, welcome to um, my latest video. Um, what I'm going to be doing this morning is uh, taking you through my Sage Barista Express setup. Everything from uh, the grind settings, what I'm currently using, to hopefully a few tips and tricks which will help people to make better coffee. Okay, let's go. So this is my Sage Barista Express that I'm going to be doing uh, today's video on. Um, it's worth pointing out with this machine, that I actually followed a very helpful YouTube video um, that someone kindly posted on how to take the inner burrs finer. Um, so that's obviously the first thing I did to this coffee machine. And then my grind size is roughly between five and six. Um, depending on obviously what type of coffee you're using, um, just make sure it is fresh coffee every time. Um, it does help. And then uh, usually for espresso, you're gauging anywhere between five and six. And then I do like to have the grind amount at around the three o'clock position. Okay. So a little tip with um, Sage Barista machines. Um, a lot of people will obviously run off some blank shots through uh, the Sage machine to eat up effectively the coffee handle. So your port filter. What I like to like to do um, is I do like to uh, boil up the kettle um, and pour some boiling water onto the handle. But a couple of points with that. Just make sure that when you've done so, you dry the inner basket and also you just get a spoon and just very carefully pop out the uh, basket on the inside of the port filter and you just dry the underneath um, of that basket just to make sure there's any water residue because if there is a bit left in there it may just affect your extraction when making the drink. So what I do before every drink is I get my port filter handle and just pour through some boiling water into that handle. Gently, being very careful, wipe out the basket. And then, like I said, make sure the inside is also dry as well. Just give that a little wipe out and then pop your basket in there. I'm using fresh coffee beans. So these beans that I'm using have only been roasted roughly around a week ago. So I'll pop them into my Sage Barista Express. What I'm going to do then is turn on my scales Pop my handle onto the scales, give it a tear. So I've got my double espresso ready to go in my cup. So now I'm going to get on with the milk. So with your milk, what I'm basically doing is I'm just sticking the steam tip just underneath the surface of the milk, which you'll see here, to just create that vortex in the jug. And then also just getting that air nicely into the jug, trying to keep that air noise as long as possible. Here's I'm gonna Clean my espresso, get my textured milk, nicely build up that creme, then from the front of the cup, push the first pour to the back.
thank you for watching today's video um, hopefully that helps a few people out in terms of making drinks on their Brewster Express. If you've got time, please like, subscribe and comment below and I'll see you on the next video in where I'm going to be talking about alternate milk and how that can impact your drinks made on a Sage Brewster Express. Bye.